Girl Kate, and I'm taking the opportunity right now while KK is doing what she's doing, watching her little shows on YouTube, on the TV, and just take some time to say hi to you guys. How you doing, guys? What's going on? Long time no see. Actually, it's not my fault why long time no see because I've been trying to upload a video for you guys since about Friday night. And YouTube, for some reason, would not allow me to do that. So, I uploaded something that was like a dumb... Like, I recorded something for like five minutes. No, like two, three seconds. And I uploaded it on YouTube. And it went through. So, I don't understand why. Why we just God don't want it to be uploaded. God be doing this thing. So, it is what it is. Okay? So, I'm just coming out to you guys to tell you about my... Well, today is the last day of the year. So, kudos to us who made it this far. Hopefully, all who watch this video makes it in 2019 i can't believe i'm actually saying that 2019 can you believe that 2019 we still gonna be in 2020 like the show 2020 can you believe it it's crazy so um so guys i went on my first wag walk the other day it was uh, i'm gonna say last week wednesday or thursday i went with katania i got a cute little dog i was mad hype I was mad hype. Hold on, hold on. I was mad hype, right? And hold on. I might have to start this video over. I'm so sorry, guys. I hope I don't need to. What? It is late. Legit. Sorry. I'm reading something. I probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. So, um, so, let me just go this way. So, I went to first wag walk with Katanya. I ended up being, like, probably 10 minutes late. <sighs> because it wasn't, like, a demand. I walk, I walk with the wag. It, I think it was a demand walk. I don't remember on demand. No, I can't do on demand. It was just, like, a book of walk. But I live in Brooklyn. It was all the way in Manhattan. I had to go to Manhattan to go to the walk. I put my settings for like 10 miles, so it takes me all over the place if I have to. My, that was my first walk though, so I haven't been anywhere else but there. Um, Because my phone and the app is not working together, I'm trying to work with the people, but they're not fixing it. Like, I call all the time. They have their special upper people helping me that hasn't been done yet, so I don't really know what's going on, to be honest. So, um, I got to the apartment. I got... Well, I got the doorman gave me the key. I went to get the dog. The dog was so cute. It was like a gray dog. Like, gray, like a little black. Like a little black in it, too. He was cute. He didn't bark. I could, When I opened it, was opening the door. I could hear him just, like, excited. Mm, he didn't bite me. Thank God. So, apparently, I'm not that scared of... I, don't, I like animals. I always have. But then I stopped liking animals because it was, like, a crazy thing. But because of the dog incident but i think i'm cured of that and plus i think the money's helping with that too but wag don't pay you as much as rover so that's what i'm trying to do both of them um but you gotta pass the test yes girl you gotta test for rover i can't believe it um what else i went in, i brought kk with me which unless i do this dog was very tall like when you're going to two, his two feet he's up to like my chest or my neck ish on that area i'm like damn he jumped on KK at one point. I thought he bit KK. But I knew he... Sh I should have known he didn't bite KK. The reason why I say this, he likes to smell people. The owner already told me he likes to smell people. Like, if you have anything with stringy, he'll try to bite that. But he likes to smell K people. So he was just smelling... He jumped on KK, but he's... I think... He think it was okay because she's like... She's with me and he's jumping on me. I don't like when dogs jump on me, to be honest, I don't know you that well. If I knew you for, like, the first time, don't jump on me. But obviously, it's a dog. You can't tell him that. Um, but for, all right, let me get, get in the apartment first. So, it took me a while to even get the leash on. Got enough put the leash on properly. I still think I put it on wrong. <laughs> but he didn't escape, so I guess I did a good job. That dog was hella strong. It was a medium-sized dog, which, from the picture they showed me on the thing, is an eight-month-old dog, but the picture I saw was a much smaller dog. So when I got there to see the dog was that huge, I was like, all right, I gotta do this anyway, but the dog is freaking huge. So, 
them waffles can't be finished right. I just put it in the oven. My kitchen just might need whatever. I'm not even at right now. This one like burn, but how about the cheese from the last one I did? So far, this is like my third time using this oven. I need to get a regular a thing. I'm trying to use an oven. No, that can't be that burning. Sorry. So we, I went in the apartment. I put in the collar. I put in the tags. Um, he was mad cool. Um, one time he started biting the um collar because he likes to bite things. So he's eight months old. You know, still learning, still learning, still a baby, still a pup. But he's huge for a pup. Um, dogs grow very fast. It's crazy. Dogs grow very, very fast. Um, so I gave him a lot of cookies and I brought a lot of his treats with him because I was like, yeah, I need tweets, tweets, tweets. To kind of control him, but on the street with Katani. Katani was scared. When we left the door, Katani was like, my doggy. I'm like, you're scared the whole time. You're a doggy. Everybody in the street, people petting him. I mean, that's not the best thing to do. But petting him, people, he's sniffing on people, he's jumping on people. I think I'm probably a bad dog walker, but the thing about people who are stopping and making him jump on him, people who are actually legit like dog people who wanted to touch him and want him to jump on him. And like, this one lady took a picture of me and Katanya and the dog. It's like, you guys look so cute. I was thinking it was probably the dog owner and I'm like, Lord Jesus, hopefully. You don't know what the dog owner actually looks like, so it could be. It was this old, like, old white lady said, look so cute. Y'all look so cute. And then and then I'm like, oh, really? Sure. Whatever. I took a picture. It is what it is. Why smell like something's burning? I wonder if cheese really got on the thing. If it did, then it's probably that's what's burning. But the waffles just went in there from the freezer, so it shouldn't be burning. It was pretty cool, honestly, to um to be doing that. It was really, really awesome. I really liked it. Um, other than when we passed by like trash, he sniff it, and I thought the um Alicia at one point would break it. It looked sturdy, but. That dog was hella strong, bro. And I think by the time he... All right. I got, my GPS on my phone kept on failing. So I called my talk, called to Rumble about that. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. But between the WAG app and my Google Maps app, Google Map, like every minute GPS failed. GPS, I'm like, I don't know this area. I need to get back. So I already was late. So I was just like... Because he had to do a report there. And I was like, I took the dog out on an extra walk because... I, didn't tell the GPS, I don't think it's that GPS failed. I said, oh... That was late, so I just gave him extra time anyway. But I just got extra, extra time. By the time we got back, that dog was thirsty as hell. There was no food for me to give him, so I just gave him more treats out of the cookie jar. Because I felt the dog was hungry. The dog was like, at one point, mm -hmm. I think the dog, it looked hungry. So I gave it some of the treats. I'm like, I don't know where your food is. I'm not going to go people places and dig up where I think food should be. But um, good for me, the dog did not poop. I was so ecstatic. It didn't pee either, so... I be a poop and peep in the house. Pee and poop in the house. The dog place, the, the place, the owner's place didn't smell like dog. You know, they go to some people's houses and they have dogs and it smell like doggy. Not this place. This place is smell fresh. You don't even know a dog was in there unless you saw the dog. You don't go to some people's houses and you have old people. You smell their skin like before you even hit the, the place. Like, I don't like that. Like, I'm not about that life. Like, yeah. So, it was fine. It was cool. Um, it was a very good experience, and I'm definitely gonna obviously do it again. I get paid for it, so why not? And I really want a dog, but I want a dog, but obviously it's a puppy. But I know if it's a puppy, I have to train it. Um, my other problem is, is that how big is the dog gonna get? I don't want a dog to get big. They said it was all about how you train the dog. I probably want to get like a German Shepherd because they're nice dogs. I feel like they handle like Lassie. Lassie is a German Shepherd, right? I think. And I like that it's big. I would just be like small. Or the, I think the German Shepherd was also on Full House. I like dogs like that. Like it was a nice little puppy and they grow up big and they grow up with the family. They grow up nice and everything. So I definitely want to do that. So that's my thing. But it's to have a dog is like having four or five kids. It's a lot. And because they don't actually talk, it's like they can learn things, but you just you don't know. You just don't know. So I don't know. And I don't want poop in my house. I don't want dogs in my bed. I don't want dogs in my chair. I don't want dogs on my couches. No. And the thing about Katani, she have she have all these toys for Christmas. She have all these small toys. Dog might start chewing on that and start, you know, dying. Like, uh, uh, uh. I almost babysitted a dog, and it was going to be a pit bull. 
because the owner had a different dog and it was a small dog and it looked cute, cute. I was like, oh my god, I could babysit that dog. They called me and said, um, picture we have up is wrong. It's a pit bull. I'm like, pit bull, pit bull. Mm -mm. I don't pit no bull, not I. So I had to reject that. It'll be extra money in my pocket. I want, and I want all the dogs who come to my house have to have cages. I have to get a gate to put them, like, put them around. Because I'm not with the foolishness. You're not going to be up in my house. Act like a terrorist. Because you're not, when the dog's not used to the house, he's going to do what he want. And I don't got time for that. So, bruh. Cage or gated. That's what you're going to get. So, that's how it is. That's just the way it is. Yes. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe. And talk to you later. Later.